A pleasure having you again, my friends. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at part four on our activities in exponents and indices. In the previous video, in part three, we left off at question eight. So let's pick it up back at question number nine. OK, so in question nine, let's say you walked into the exam on the exam paper, my friends. You have a question like this, a base Q squared. OK, and that is all raised all raised to the power of 7 upon 2 or 7 halves, okay? And that is being multiplied by Q raised to the power of negative 7. Now, based on what we would have already learned from earlier lessons, here we have a base Q. In the first case here, we have a base Q raised to the power of 2, and that is all raised to another power, which is 7 over 2. So here we are going to simply multiply our powers. So we are saying 2 times 7 upon 2. Okay, guys? And that is being multiplied. That's being multiplied by base Q by a base q raised to the negative seventh power okay now basically what we have here we can just simply calculate the the, the powers two into itself once two into that two goes one time okay so really what i have left over here my friends is a base q raised to the power of one times seven is seven so base q raised to the power of seven and that is being multiplied by a base q also raised to the power of in this case though negative seven okay now remember when multiplying indices of the same base it is the same as adding the power so we can just simply add these powers now my friends and by that we would get a common base q raised to the power of seven and we're adding and remember we're adding a negative seven to seven okay now remember when working with directed numbers and feel free to check out our playlist on negative and positive numbers that that's directed numbers now if remember when two different signs clash the negative sign is dominant okay my friends so this it this really is saying the same as q raised to the seventh power and we are subtracting seven, okay? The negative sign is dominant. Now, basically what we have left there, my friends, we have a seven minus seven is zero. So this is a Q, base Q raised to the zero power, which is really one, our answer is one, okay? And that's our answer because remember, anything raised to the power of zero is one. Now quickly, let's move on to question 10. Let's quickly move on to question 10. So here now, my friends, let's say we were given W raised to the third power multiplied by W raised to the two thirds, two upon three, and that is being divided by W raised to the negative one third. OK, again, my friends, uh, we have indices of the same base. The common base is, is W. And here we have we have um, base W multiplying itself. And here we have the base W is being divided. So basically, what is multiplying? The bases that are multiplying, we're just simply going to add those powers. So we have a common base W. And we have a 3 plus 2 upon 3. OK? And if you notice, we're dividing by W. So we're going to subtract. But really, again, my friends, if you should pay keen attention, what we are subtracting, since we are dividing indices of the same base, a common base, what we are subtracting, we are really subtracting negative 1 upon 3. Okay? So that's basically what we're doing. All right? Now, in this case, what we're going to do, we have a common base W. And remember now, this is the same as base W. Let's just re rewrite this statement that we have here in the power. This is base W raised to the third, and I'm really adding two upon three, okay? Now remember, when two same signs clash, in this case, we have two negative signs clashing, but it doesn't matter. Once the two signs are the same, whenever they clash, it will always result in a positive sign, okay? And I'm really adding one upon three, okay, my friend? So we can just simply change the three into a fraction we can just change the three into a fraction by putting it over one and we can just simply go ahead and calculate our powers okay now let's find the lcd which is the lowest common denominator and that would be three so i'm saying one into three goes three times and three ones will give me a three okay sorry my bad one into three goes three times and three threes will give us a nine okay my friends and i'm adding to that three into three goes one time and one times two 
that will give us a 2 and then I'm adding to that 3 into 3 goes 1 time and 1 times 1 will give me a 1 okay so really what we have left here my friends is 9 plus 2 that's 11 and 11 plus 1 that's 12 so here we have a 12 upon 3 for my answer 12 upon 3 which can be simplified my friends to to a uh, 3 into itself goes once we know that 3 into itself goes once and 3 into 12 goes four times okay so remember this is the power that we are calculating so we must now write our answer in the form w is being raised to the positive 4 okay and that's our answer it is as simple as that feel free however to ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye